so I filmed this morning on the way to work and it, that was the most, that video was just awful. <laughs> and I thought, I can't upload that. I don't know what was going on with my brain this morning, but I just couldn't think of anything to talk about. I tried to talk about the Sephora sale and I was just, I don't know, I was just, I couldn't get anything out. It was like I was, I don't know. I still don't really have a lot to say. <laughs> I did, um, I haven't watched any of the sales videos. I know they're out there. I've seen them in my, my feed, but I'm just not into what most people are wanting to talk about, which is always palettes. You know, there's only so many eyeshadow palettes that a person needs. And I bet you that, and I know I'm guilty of buying them too. I can't say, I'm not saying anything that I'm not, that I'm thinking there's probably not many of you that want to buy an eyeshadow palette. And I know a lot of you don't ever shop the sale. So I think it's really just kind of a, I guess what I'm saying is that I don't think y'all really care. <laughs> and if you do, I still got time to do one. So you can let me know if you want me to do one or not. So as I said before, I don't really have a lot to talk about. You know, I, my mind right now is going to negativity of things going on in the world and y'all don't come here to hear me talk about politics or anything like that. I haven't watched Real Housewives of Beverly Hills yet. I'll watch it this weekend. I'll sit down and watch that one along with Southern Charm. I've been trying to keep up with that pretty good. And you know, I really don't know anything much about the females that are on Southern Charm now. You know, the first few seasons, I, I would go and learn everything I could about the ones that were on there. But now, I don't really, I can't even remember their names. <laughs> That's pretty sad. I mean, all I know is Patricia and now, the men, I can kind of remember because they've been on it most of the time, but, you know, they've tried to kind of change the cast with the women. So, and I know what the, I know Craig's girlfriend is on a summer house or whatever that one is. Sometimes it's winter house. I don't know. See, that idiot went run the red, red light. And that's right. They're an idiot. They're an idiot. I guess I could talk about idiots running red lights. <laughs> so I've have been, I, I'll tell you what I've been looking at, why I guess that I don't really have a lot to talk about is, I know some of y'all know I watch Sarasota Tim, and I don't know if any of you have ever checked out his channel, but he talks a lot about retiring and being a minimalist and even though he calls himself a minimalist I don't think of him as being a minimalist and the reason I say that is because he's constantly he's constantly buying things even though I know some of it is stuff he needs he's not buying anything I don't guess anything that he don't need anyway He's been on this month-long trip with the majority of it, well, yeah, the majority of it being in the Georgia mountains. Now, y'all know I live right at the beginning of the Blue Ridge Parkway, you know, so I mean, I have Mount, I'm surrounded by mountains. But for some reason, have never really thought about visiting the Georgia mountains. Now, I'll admit I've mentioned going to Dawsonville to Dave a couple of times, being because that's where the Elliots live, you know, Chase Elliott and Bill Elliott. 
and I know there's an outlet mall there now, which I, I did go to Dawsonville when Bill was racing a couple of times and went to the Dawsonville pool room, but that was, you know, that was way before Chase was born. So anyway, and I'm not going to get into that, but anyway, that was way before Chase was born. So I know a little bit about Dawsonville. And when I read that they were building that outlet mall there, I was just, wow. Because there's nothing there at that time. I mean, there was nothing there. I don't even think there was a McDonald's. If I remember right, there wasn't a McDonald's there. Of course, now they have a lot more than what we have. Well, I won't say a lot more. They have things that we don't have, I guess is what I should say. And we probably have some things they don't have. I mean, we don't have no mall, no outlet mall. So I'm at this little local place here where my mom likes to eat hot dogs. Hot dogs. I do have a Martinsville hot dog right now. I know y'all don't know what that is, but if you follow NASCAR, you probably do. Anyway, their new hours is only going to be daytime starting November 1st. So they're going to quit being open at night. My mom won't like that because she likes me to come here at night and get her a hot dog. I don't like their hot dogs because they don't fry them. If I'm going to eat a hot dog, I want it split and fried. Burnt. They don't do that. Anyway, what was I going to get back to? Oh, the Georgia Mountains. Anyway, so Sarasota Tim has, he's kind of blew up. And when I say blew up, I mean, he's not. <clears throat> he's gone from, I guess, 20K to almost 60K now, maybe 60K, 60,000 subscribers. And some videos, he's really, you know, he's raking in the views. And <clears throat> anyway, he, had some people to offer him their cabin in the Jordan, Georgia mountains. Two of them. Two owners offered him cabins and he took them up on it. Which I don't blame him. I'd take them up on it too. So he stayed like three days in one and five days in the other. So I've been following him on this journey through the Georgia mountains. I never knew all that was there. Blue Ridge, Georgia. I mean, I'd heard of it, but, you know, I've never really looked at it. And I've been looking, you know, of course, I've been looking at cabins to stay through Airbnb. Thank you. Thank you. I need one like that. Yeah. They probably got one for Christmas, too. It's on Timu. Okay. So anyway, I've just been going on Airbnb and looking at the uh, cabins. And I do think that Melissa 55 stayed in one one time. But even then, I don't know why it didn't ring a bell for me to even look then. But I guess because he was in Dawsonville, because that's where his daughter lives, Sarah's out of town. That's why I really got to look in because I thought, well, you know, maybe sometime or another, if we ever get to travel again, we can go there. And of course, you know, I start looking around my birthday. Of course, I know I'm not going nowhere this year around my birthday. Probably not next year. But I just like seeing. Of course, that's, you know, prime season for them. Anyway, what I was getting at, I didn't realize how they're just as big as we are when it comes to apples. And I guess it's the terrain that this area and, you know, cause they have pretty much the same terrain as I, us. <clears throat> Sorry. Of why we grow apples or can grow apples. 
but they had this one huge apple house he went to that I couldn't believe because I thought most of ours are small but of course I know they're attracting the Atlanta crowd I know they've got a big city that they're attracting and I mean we do attract some but not I don't think not anything like that <clears throat> Anyway, I'll link some of his videos below. Sorry, I don't know why my throat's all of a sudden started, or my nose has started draining down my throat. I guess it's the way the air's doing. And I've got the AC on, and I'm sorry, but I'm hot. So we've had this cotton candy looking sky for several days. But now it's turned white instead of pink. But it, it was really pink. I'll try to put in a <clears throat> picture of that was taken of the sky. Of course, I, yesterday, I was, or the other day, I was supposed to put in a picture, and I didn't do it. So I've been bad. Been bad, been bad. But I'm going to go ahead and close because I need to clear my throat. <laughs> and I don't do that on camera, so... I will talk to y'all later. Hope you have a great weekend or whatever time you're watching this. Hope you're having a great day. Talk to you later. Love you. Bye.